Hi everyone, first and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Um, this is the second part to what's in my sketchbook. I'm doing a different format because I thought this would be a lot easier just picking it up and like looking um, at the pictures and stuff. So this is how I'm going to record this one. Hopefully everyone likes it. Um, I like doing these types of videos because I like to share my artwork and possibly inspire people. So yeah. The cover of this sketchbook I've decorated with a bunch of different um, stickers, Rugrats, Rick and Morty, um, here's Waluigi, and a bunch of like Star Wars related stickers. Um, I've got Dragon Ball Z ones and Lisa Frank ones. Uh, here's Mario too. And then here I've got uh, some of my favorite superheroes, Batman, Deadpool, Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Lisa Frank, and just some random like Halloween stickers, because I love Halloween. Here's a thing for the actor um, that played Chewbacca, rest in peace, and then just two random, um, they were scented, but they're not now, obviously, stickers, so. Now, inside this sketchbook, I've decorated the inside with Lisa Frank. Um, here is the Powerpuff Girls. This is a early, like, version of, like, me as a cartoon character or whatever you want to call it. Here is a mean face, and we're going to get into the artwork now. This is a evil snowman. Who's melting? I drew this in 2019. It just says I hate the winter. I really do not like the winter time. Too cold for me, but also um, too depressing. And that's just me. I'm going to occasionally move this iPod over like this so that I can like flip through and check the artwork out. And you know, that way it just makes it easier to look at. I also use this sketchbook to um like journal in so that's why i'm going to be doing this sometimes and you'll notice that and i'm sorry if that's annoying but there's some stuff that i do not want out to the public anyway this is a drawing of a cat in some jeans and a t-shirt i draw cats a lot even though i'm not a huge um cat person and so yeah this is what happens This is my version of an e-girl right here. Here is a uh, Christmas tree and another kitty cat. And here is a quick sketch of an elf. And then over here is just like a random sketch of different characters. I have... Frankenstein's monster and this is inspired by Adventure Time's Marshall Lee. I feel like most people already know that. Here is a uh, drawing of someone that's got one of those really cool piercings that go from a uh, like you get a chain it goes from your ear to um, your nose or vice versa. Also, please excuse the fact that, like, my hand looks really, really red. I don't know why in this lighting, but I look super red, and I'm not really that red. <laughs> I promise I'm fine. I just... Lighting in this room, it makes everything look, like, weird. Um, this is just some random drawings. Here's another cat and a guy and some sunglasses, a, a lady, peace sign, some hearts, just a smiley girl. Here's a cat, just like a fuzzy cat. And this was just me trying these pins out. Here's a bear. Here is, uh, Stephen is 100% done. 
Y'all will remember this one from my video about um, not having to have expensive things to create. Here is a girl giving a peace sign and Stephen giving a peace sign. It says peace and love. Um, I live in Kentucky. Uh, this is my governor. Cool. And here is just some random sketches of different things. I mean, it looks a little bit more like Mr. Rogers than uh, the governor, but uh, yeah. I wanted to draw something because I feel like he's having a really rough time with this COVID-19 stuff. So I drew him like this, and this is the little hashtag for our state. Um, and he always says, like, we will get through this together. So I put that. This drawing right here, I actually colored first with coloring pencils and then went back in and used a marker because I didn't like the way the coloring pencils looked. Um, this uh, way that the eye makeup is and the lips was inspired by Creepshow Art. And if you guys are not following her on here, I mean, if sorry, if you're not subscribed to her, subscribe to her and follow her on her social medias. Um, so basically she draws lips um this unique way and i wanted to try it and i also wanted to do the eye makeup like it and i um i i just wanted to draw a person of color um and i think it turned out pretty good here is um uh, this is a girl, she's got blue eyes and purple hair and just green uh, lipstick on, freckles. You can see it's kind of like a e-girl or like a, if you want to say like a goth or something, that's fine too. I drew one of those chokers that has a little alien on it. This is supposed to be Yoda, but I messed up on him, so I made him into a meme. I just put sunglasses on him, says, too cool for your Star Wars. Now, this was for uh, May the 4th, and it's Baby Yoda, so it says May the 4th be with you. I actually messed up and put the wrong date where this heart is. I put 4 five twenty when it's supposed to be 5 four twenty. I don't know, but I fixed it. I'm skipping some pages. Sorry, guys. Um, this is just for everybody right now that's struggling. And I thought something uplifting would be good during this time. Also, excuse the background noise. Sorry. But anyway, it says things will get better. And it will. It's going to take some time. But I really feel like it will. Um, this isn't any specific character. It's just something I came up with. I was also trying these markers out, trying to do different hair color, different styles, stuff like that. Here is a cat girl with a nose piercing and cat eyes and a little heart choker, um, some flowers, and these little things right here was just me practicing um, different little corner designs. And then we got this, which you guys saw in the other video as well. It's just a devil girl. I was trying to use black and red mostly. This was drawn by the black pen that I used. And you guys saw this one as well. Um, these two pieces right here are um, just to show people that different types of people can be beautiful and are beautiful. So... Um, it just says beauty is in the eyes of the beholder and I drew another person of color where I made their hair um, pink and blue and again this is just me showing that no matter your skin color or um, your gender or sexual orientation or anything that you are beautiful in your own way. This one is supposed to be um, also a person of color who has vitiligo. This is not inspired by anyone or anything like that. It's just like my own little 
kind of take on that. Um, I was trying to obviously not, you know, be offensive or nothing. I was just trying something different out. And I kind of like this. It's kind of nice. Um, they have green hair. It looks weird for some reason on camera. And it's just like all green. And it just says beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. I'm going to do other um, like things and make this a little collection. Where it's like beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. And it's going to be like different colors and different looks for people. Um, it's just some random characters. I thought it'd be cool to draw something with like its eyes blacked out, so that's why I did that. They have like pointed teeth. Y'all saw this one in the other video as well. It's just eyes. That's just like me practicing eyes. So this drawing is primarily uh, just pencils and um, some black pen that I have as well so I just want to try different hair different eyes different lips I love trying out different styles and just seeing what happens you guys saw this one as well the freckles kind of remind me of like sprinkles or something I wanted to do like colorful freckles. Here he is, um, just like different color hair. Like I said, I love trying different things. They have a nose stud and uh, different makeup with this cool looking shirt design. And here's this where it's like. A little bit more cartoony, kind of a little bit more reminds me of uh, like Popeye or something like that. And I just put like star freckles. I think that's everything actually. Yeah. So that was everything in this sketchbook. Not as much as the um, other one. This video is a little bit shorter than it. Um, but I do hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, again, I'm really sorry that, first of all, my hand looks weird on camera. I don't know why my lighting does that, but it turns everything like almost like a red color. Um, like, don't get me wrong, my skin's not great, but it's not that, like, red. But anyway, um, I appreciate you for watching and um if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up uh, i will make more videos like this where i share my artwork as i continue to make it um and get more of a collection like this and make a big video like this thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you've not i am going to try my hardest to start posting again regularly on saturdays so check my videos out on Saturdays fingers crossed it works and um, if you want to talk to me my social medias are down in the description you can check all those um, and uh, you know hit me up if you want to talk or whatever thank you thank you thank you for watching I'm gonna get going and I'll see y'all later bye